Hey guys, back here. Beautiful sunny day here today. Absolutely amazing. And I've just caught this little fella having a nice little <laughs> a sunbathe in the water. How cool is that? Don't they look ancient? A water dragon. Dragons everywhere. So they do. Those these and crocodiles and alligators, they all look so ancient, don't they? Like other animals don't look old. Well, yeah, I guess prehistoric. I can't hold it still with that hand. I've got the um, I've got something else in this hand that's heavy. Alright, well we'll try this again. I just did did make a video but it cut off. So we'll see how we go. Um it's a beautiful day, so I thought I would do a video and tell you guys that I'm really disappointed in our community and it, it, the, our YouTube community is really disappointing. And um, there's a few things, there's a few things. There was a couple of people in some chats yesterday who were really reaching out and saying some pretty sort of suicidal things and only a couple of us reached out you know and it was very upsetting to see that I think people think that maybe they're joking and when you've been close to somebody who nobody believed and then they did do it you, you don't think that's a joke but never mind I've, yes mind but that's not really what I want to speak about, but it, it did did have to come into a conversation then for a minute. Somebody will know what I'm talking about. Now, I just watched a video for about an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, Midnight Ride, David Carrico and John Pounders. And it was an awesome broadcast really great and they were uncovering basically hollow earth so you know don't, don't spin out not hollow like that but we know that the giants came back after the flood and we know that the only place that they could have hid was in the earth don't even think about it don't and so they they did they must have found air pockets there would have been places that were shut in there there's absolutely cavities crevices everywhere and they inhibited the middle of the earth it was a very interesting broadcast I would recommend it but if you watch it I also recommend that you watch it knowing that these two men who you know they follow the Puritan way they're very staunch in in what they believe However, they do not address Bible changes. And it's concerning. It's concerning. Because the caliber that they're at in this in this believe community of believers at this time in history, what they're doing is pivotal. And by them reading out Errors about scriptures with passengers and suburbs and things, words that are new, modern words, and not even questioning, which is, is the worry that they won't even... Um, it's like they're scared to enter that arena, but they're not scared about flat earth, the enclosed system, that they're, they're not at all. They're not worried about talking about that. So I, I am really quite she left it behind I shouldn't have done that I'm really quite confused so and disappointed when people that have that many viewers that really love them believe in them and that they won't address these changes and there's also something else very distressing that they won't address as well which is that 
the injection at the very minimum is a depopulation oh i think they might agree with that but they will not admit to anything about the dna changing and honestly unless they've removed the videos i am sure they did in the beginning i am sure they were saying it's almost like a mandela effect for me because they've backpedaled and they're saying no you know like it's it's like they've been quietened but only told to be quiet on a couple of issues i hope i'm wrong because there's nobody left i don't even watch youtube now if like i don't because i'm all, i'm doing something else i'm trying to find things i'm doing my own research i i just i'll watch chuck i'll watch my friends videos and that's it and you know i've tried to be true to midnight ride and and the teaching has been very deep um they've got a lot of extra books that back up things and we know that the apocryphas back up so much of the bible we know that and today a lot of it was the book of jasher which absolutely backs up the account of genesis 6 and the hollow earth the people the, the giants hid in the earth you know so they're still there and so are these all these other chimeric beings and whatever and that is what will be released upon the earth and those of us who have an understanding of this to a certain extent will not be so afraid we hope so people that don't admit the deception of changes it's a problem because he's still saying that the Bible is the infallible 100% true word of God of the Father well it was but we're not even sure when it started changing so how corrupt could it be by the time we get it now in this last 50 to 70 years what have they done? What's, what's legitimately from the words of the one who walked, of the one who, who gave his life? What, how much did they take out? The father made them leave some. I know that. And the, the words in the Bible, you know, Isaiah, Ezekiel, the old prophets, the absolute magnitude of that, we know that they couldn't change stuff. But it's what they have changed. And it's those who deny those changes. It's like saying, I'm just not even going to look that the earth might not be a ball because I just flat out deny it. That's what these men of good standing in the community are doing. Or they've made a deal. And they've said, okay, we won't speak about that. But we can talk about the enclosed system all day long in the cosmic boogie woogie. It doesn't make sense. With this, I'm tired. I'm very, very tired of this. I'm tired of learning so much and having a fondness as we humans. That's how they suck us in. That's how these entities suck us in. And the humans that are, are on their side. That's how they all suck us in. Because of our empathic nature. We start watching someone. We develop. We, we can't even meet them, but we develop a connection with them. And something that we get from them, the teaching or... Um, maybe we just like the way they present it. Whatever, we're human. And that's how they get us. Look, I'm not saying that completely with, with Midnight Ride, but it's you have to ask hard questions. And they're not being answered. They're not. So it leads me to believe that they're very either scared to speak about it because they've copped so much flack, but that doesn't make sense because that's what being involved in this is. It is about speaking out. It is about copping flat. They, they're in the wrong game then, aren't they? But they're not. They, they've, they've done that all along. And uh, now just to go, no, I'm, we're not going to talk about the Bible changes that he's reading right out loud along with you as you're reading them. Go have a look. Tell me what you think. Because it's, 
it's hard knowing people you've liked and trusted, you've learned so much of, are part of the problem. Or part of the cover-up. Maybe not a problem, but a cover-up. And these Bible changes, it's worse than the enclosed system because if you want to talk salvation issue, we're talking, this is the literal word that has been changed. And what, has everybody forgotten about that? I know a lot of you haven't, but I know a lot of people probably aren't even aware of it. And any of my new viewers, please be patient and understanding that I am speaking something that I know is true as I have been reading the Bible since 1995, some of the changes are so obvious and some you can tell they have been changed because you know that they never would have said such jibber walker. I mean, some of it's goobly gook. It, it doesn't make sense. Some of it, it, you actually, like a lot of the Old Testament and Chronicles and that, I think it is, and you read that, and you can't make some sentences just do not jive, man. <laughs> they don't jive, man. You know, like, it's wrong. And everybody stopped talking about it, except what, Brian Staveley? Do you guys trust that guy? He looks like a Freemason that was an astronaut. He looks like he's his brother or his son. I'm serious, there is an astronaut that, if it might even be him, it looks just like Stavely. So all the people in this community are shills, you know, and nobody, even the little channels and nobody's speaking about it, it's like it's been, maybe not swept under the carpet on purpose, but it's been forgotten. I'm just here to bring it back to our attention for a quick minute. It's not something we should focus on completely, but for new believers, how are they gonna know what's real and what's not if they don't have somebody they can ask? And believe me, guys, it's the Father who will lead, the Holy Spirit will lead the people to you for you to speak and, and for you to be able to teach if we have time, if that is the case if that is our future and we do actually have enough time to be able to teach anybody anymore because it seems that there is a stooped and it is like flat earth if they don't want to see these bible changes now you have a very slim chance compared to the amount of time left compared to the amount of time we've had We've got a slim chance being able to get them over the line. But nothing's impossible. We know that. I will never give up. You know, some days with this tiredness and stuff going on, I've been so much better. My diet's better. Everything's better. And I have been better. But it hits me. And today with whatever my daughter and I woke up with, I just feel flat. But it doesn't matter how we feel physically. We've got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. We must keep walking you just can't stop so and we have to be as positive lift our lift our energy to a really nice level of of calm because if the holy spirit is going to be helping us he's going to give us peace it's not going to be anxiety alley every day and it won't be and if you're battling and having trouble with that I know there's a lot going on. You might have lost your job. You might be... I know a lot of people who lost relationships because of just because of our beliefs now being so diverse. One wanted an injection, one didn't. One believed the earth was flat, one didn't. It's all over. It's happened to everybody, Nelly, who, who has chose to believe the truth. It's... It, if it hasn't happened, something's wrong because it means that they're not speaking out. They might have learnt all these truths and they're too, too afraid to speak. They're too afraid to lose those people. But, you know, if they really love us, they would listen. If they really loved you and you said, hey, please look at this. It's driving me crazy. You won't. They would listen. And if they won't, I guess it shows a lot about the character and nature of that person. 
Because if you're anything like me, someone said it to you, you'd go, okay, I'll take a look at it. It's obviously very important to you. So we're coming, to, yeah, we've been coming to that door <laughs> creaking shut for quite a while now. It's still not shut. If you're new here, you really must stop watching the TV, watching what they're feeding you, watching lie upon lie upon lie. Turn it off and tune into your Father, the Creator. Now is the time He's speaking. He's speaking. Guys, he's speaking. Go and look at the little guys' channels. The, the small people. Under 10,000 subscribers. Under 5,000. Some of these people are hearing from the Father. I truly believe it. They're the ones. Their channels are moving me more than anything. More than even watching Midnight Ride and doing a really intense study for like teaching study for an hour and a half. It still doesn't compare with the things that some people are starting to see, feel, and and prophesy. Um, they're not prophets. That's why it's good. They're just people. And he said he will pour out his spirit on all flesh in the last days. Remember, remember, remember that. Now, even though I feel really flat, I'm still in good spirits. The Father has been holding me up, and I thank you so much, all of you, for all your prayers. Every time you pray for me, it's being heard because I've had such a battle. And I know our battle, we can never say it's won because we have to live each day. But my battles are under control. So please, as long as they're under control, people might not agree with us. But if they're under control and everybody's still on a basic level... And it's okay, isn't it? We can get through. There are certain things that aren't salvation issues, but that do cause problems between, you know, us and the ones we love. And I pray for each and every one of you that that's happening with. But just remember, we were like them once. We didn't know. We've been chosen. We were called and we listened. We heard. We answered the call. And here we are. And they've been called too many 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 times from you and they won't listen and the more you call it seems the deafer they get the more under the strong delusion they become i don't understand why it is the father in heaven it is his will be done yes his will be done and i know that i'm not sure where we are in history I really, I'm not, I am not sure, or we're not history, we're in the present, but you know what I mean, I'm not sure. We could be in the very short season where Satan is loose, loose for a very short time. We could be in the book of Revelation 20. We could be that Jesus is about to appear for that second time. We could be somewhere else. We could be somewhere else in the timeline and everything they've told us is a lie. And that's why I'd be very careful, my friends, when listening. When you, If you truly know, you think you know the truth, if you think you do, be very careful. When we start thinking we know it all, be very careful. I found this with myself. This is, this is me talking to myself as well because... We're never going to know it all, this side of it. And there, we've got to be very careful. If you listen to those false preachers, Benny Hinn, Joyce Meyer, what do they all teach? Then think about it for a minute. What do they all have in common? The pre-tribulation rapture. Hint. If they're preaching it should you be believing it should you be listening to it or is it to wear down the saints because the longer there's people that think he should have come by now look at those ones that watch all these channels that they actually put dates on it like steve fletcher 222 you know i'm not knocking these people i'm just saying they they he's been saying for three or four years 
it's this Hanukkah, it's this Feast of Trumpets, it's this Passover. You cannot keep doing that. And to give people false hope, to wear down the saints, the pre-tribulation rapture was great. But, hey, we already started tribulation. Did somebody not get a memo? Has the world ever all been under such control and um, by the one thing, by the one element, which was CV19, has it ever been like this? No, not like this. So, ooh, we might be able to get some fast walkers in this footage. Guys, if you slow this right down and keep your eye on the helicopter, but not around him, we might catch some. I'm having trouble seeing him. Is he rescued? Probably plenty of skippers getting sick on ships or something like that. So, yes, as I was saying, I guess it's all things I've said before. But the one thing that does trouble me the most I, I started recording this video for was about the people who are in high places so to speak they're not high places but they're well respected people in a community and they will not admit to Bible changes it's very strange it's not something I concentrate on but when it comes up and when it comes up so in your face that you got to you go wow man why didn't you say something about that that was your perfect opportunity right as you said that scripture boom you should have been addressing it straight away. Nope. Nope. So, guys, we've just got to be very wary. And I think less time on this social media now. Um, we all should keep it short. And that includes turning me off, too, you know. I mean, all of it. So, I love you all. And I, I know that we're traveling pretty quick now. The, we're, we're gaining speed and there is a brick wall at the end of this but that's not our brick wall we don't get to hit the brick wall and if you want to call that an escape yep sure but I am not counting on getting out of here until I know it's good and ready father's time and not the time when the preachers tell me it's going to happen or not the time when the channels that say it's next Hanukkah when they say it's going to happen, no. You have to be really discerning and um, sensible. Here you go. It's been nice being down here. It's very, very hot. And feel free to leave your comments. Please like, share it. If you think I've said anything here that's rang true. I try to appeal to people who don't really know what I'm talking about either. <laughs> that they could just sort of tune in and sort of start to get a gist of it. And you'd probably only have to go back a couple of my videos to understand where I'm coming from. And if you've tuned in today, I'm sorry I sound pretty flat. I've just um, woke up with some, let's call it 5G whiz poisoning. And um, yeah, I can feel it leaving now. So you can't call that a virus, can you? <laughs> But it feels like that when you're under this, these, <laughs> these waves and they're really heavy where I live, they are. And I've got a big electricity tower as well in my yard. So we get a double whammy and it is, radiation poisoning from these waves is exactly identical symptoms to colds and flu, depending on the strength of the signal. Think about that. Think about it. <laughs> seriously because that does go hand in hand then with what they're giving everybody making them have telling them they're going to be sick without it it goes hand in hand with that they put that in you those waves there's something in it it activates it this is for new viewers only that part you guys all know what I'm talking about so all right <sighs> so it's starting the waves are starting very fine over there you mightn't be able to see those 
but yeah they hit us last night got up it was clear it's it'll start up again in about an hour it's lunchtime all right awesome guys continue praying don't don't grow weary in doing good pray for those who are upsetting you and cursing you and telling you telling you you're ridiculous pray for everybody and pray for the believers as a whole as a family it's really important we have a spiritual prayer over us you know not all the believers pray and and they don't have to it's not they're not going to go to hell if they don't pray but it's you know it's not going to be as good for them if they don't because when you see prayers answered that is just the benefit of praying is knowing that your father's real and he hears you and he answers and I bear witness I am a witness 11 11 that the creator will meet you where you're at he will but sometimes you have to be broken sometimes you have to have lost nearly everything like job because that's the human condition we're in we won't listen until we lose it all don't be like job though job did nothing we were told to warrant what happened to him or well, all the more us if we if it's warranted and and then we're just a mess and we're at the end of it and that's where father will meet you but it, it needn't get like that it just needn't get like that there is no time for added anxiety on top of what's going on let it go Bo. all right i'm just gonna throw it then and you, that's why prayer is just absolutely paramount and guys you could pray to him just talking around it walking around talking in your head that is prayer it's just communication the word prayer to me is is a very catholic word um let's talk let's say talk sorry yeah let's say talk to him about it so that's what we need to do is just talk to him all the time keep father in the loop of what you're feeling and doing because <clears throat> he cares he made you this is no mistake <laughs> this is certainly not a fairy tale it's real we're not in a computer game it's just not a mistake you're here for this time we don't know why we weren't born a hundred years ago and maybe had it a bit harder physically, but a bit easier spiritually it would have been. But case sera, that's this is where we are. So let's make the most of it. I'll continue praying for you guys. And may his peace be with you. May his peace be fully within you for the battle that lies ahead of us yet. You've got a lot of work to do still, so keep your chin up. He loves you more than you can know. This is Beck from beautiful, sunny Queensland, Australia. I'm out. <laughs>